ready? Yo, it's the end of the week, I'm here to wrap it up right Talking about game and sports, and maybe life I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show Guess the parents is on, I don't really know I'm the Paris, I'm here to do it my way Click, clap, bang on any troll, so don't press play A new series, I'm wrapping up the week So comment on the subjects being given, or don't speak Ah, weekly wrap up Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Thinny973. This your boy, The Past 57 and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. So, y'all see, we here, we in the Parks 2K14, and I had to bring you guys this Parks gameplay. Look, I mean, look at it. The, the name stayed on the screen the whole game. Of course, we all know about 2K server issues, and I mean, this is, this is just some more issues that they have in the Parks work. But look, the names are on the screen and it's annoying and it stayed there the whole game. The next game me and K Spade, this is me and K Spade running by the way. The next game that me and K Spade ran, we didn't have any game sound. It was not a hardware issue pertaining to the game. It was the software where we couldn't hear the ball dribble. We couldn't couldn't hear that little that little ambiance of music that played, that lightly played music that play. It's, it was no game sound at all. And I'm talking about it's annoying so 2k has been having all these server issues can't connect to games and I'm on my team y'all already know I'm a big my team player and it's just it's just it sucks because my team forces you to have contracts you get into a my team game now this is what happened to me and you guys will see in later gameplay that I bring you guys you get into a my team game and excuse me I'm still fighting the cold too but you get into a my team game and the servers crash, you still you lose the game that you played. I mean the contract, the game for the um player contract. So you lose that game. And you know, if you buy VC to buy packs, some of the packs you are not being received. So a lot of people was complaining and saying, Oh, well 2K should do like a stimulus package like Grand Theft, like Grand Theft did, which I agree with, but I don't think it should be what people are saying. People are saying it should be five hundred thousand VC, it should be a million VC, and I think that would break the game that would totally break the game if it was a million VC on the parks it when this junk do finally start working on the parks it would be all 99s if on my team it would straight be all it would straight be all gold teams I mean like everybody would have LeBron I mean it would just be crazy so I think 500,000 a million VC that they should give us that that's absurd that will break the game in my opinion I don't have the answer I don't know what they should give us but they need to give us something aside somebody told me that they gave 10,000 my team points for the people having issues on my team I don't think I received that but if I did I mean 10,000 my team points that ain't shit what is that I don't have the answer. I don't know what they should give us. What do you guys think they should give us? I don't know. But let's just move on with other things that happen in the re weekly wrap up. It's been a slow month for gaming. Um, a couple of the uh, gaming channels did like uh, most anticipated games. So one of the most in the most anticipated game coming out this year was definitely Titanfall. A lot of people were saying that this game is so highly anticipated that they think it might suck. It won't live up to expectations. Number two on the list was definitely Watch Dogs. We all waiting for Watch Dogs. I'm hoping that both of those games live up to the, their high expectations because I cannot wait to play them games as a gamer. So let's just talk. Let's just talk about some of this. Oh, what I wanted to talk about next is um a couple of websites did a, did a mock draft for the top ten teams, and they these are some of the players that they said might get. This is where they say some of the players are going to get picked. So they said the Houston Texans are taking Teddy Bridgewater. They said the St. Louis Rams, who got their pick from Washington, are taking J Jadavian Clowney. I, I kind of like that pick because the Rams' defense is okay. Um, they said the Jacksonville Jaguars are taking Khalil Mack, the outside linebacker from Buffalo, who is a tackling machine. They said the Cleveland Browns are taking Sammy Watkins. kind of don't like that pick for Cleveland because they actually need a quarterback. They said the Oakland Raiders are taking De Derek Carr, the quarterback from Fresno State. That pick is subject to change because uh, Johnny Manziel announced that he's coming out. So I think the Raiders want to take Johnny Manziel. They said Atlanta is taking Jake Matthews, the um, offensive tackle from Texas a and He come from a long line of offensive, offensive linemen in the Matthews family, if y'all been following football forever. Um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they got taking Anthony Barr, another outside linebacker from UCLA. 
They got the Vikings taking Darquez Denard, cornerback from Michigan State. They got the Buffalo Bills taking C.J. Mosley, linebacker from Alabama. And they have the Detroit Lions at 10 taking Mike Evans, the stud wide receiver out of Texas A&M to try and give Calvin, Calvin Johnson some help at wide receiver because Stafford was just forcing it to uh, just forcing it to Calvin Johnson all season. And that's not the move. That's not the move. As you see, your boy bang out with the slam right there. But um, I also want to talk about some of these coaches leaving. Al Golden is potentially taking the coaching job at Penn State because Bill O'Brien went to the Texans. And um, Al Golden, you know what I mean? He's the uh, head coach of the Miami Hurricanes. His record at Miami is 22-15, and 15, which, I mean, it's positive, but that's not, you know, Miami is known for one of those prestigious schools that always had a good football program. They always get, you know, they always top 10 in recruiting. And 22-15 and 15 is just not good enough. Now, Al Golden did play football at Penn State. I think that's why he want to go back there. Um his overall coaching record is 49 and 49 ah come on man like he coached at temple from 06 to 2010 from 2011 i mean from 2011 to now he's been at the uh he been at um the miami hurricanes and his record is, i mean it's positive but it's not up to miami standards and i just think that you know i was telling k spade this and um some other guys that was in the party i think if you have a kid or you're you're aspiring to be an athlete you should not go to you should not go to a school based on the coach because the coach will bounce like like go to the school for the prestige or because you want to play for that school not because of the coach because all these coaches has been moving around man like bill o'brien left um somebody else somebody else left too um i can't think of his name bill o'brien left penn state oh charlie strong left louisville and went to texas but charlie strong never said he always said his dream job was florida he couldn't get that dream job but he said he would only leave louisville if it was for a, a big program job like texas and texas i think that's a great hire for texas you know so i'm not really mad at charlie strong but bill o'brien you know he was going through a lot of issues with people play hating from the sideline saying he need to keep these people on the staff because they was on joe, joe paterno staff and all that so he he wanted to get out of there after that because he couldn't run the program the way he wanted to run it you know joe paterno got arrested so but he's dead like you know this dude runs the program let him run the program how he want to run it like to me he did an excellent job at penn state but let's get into some more some more other things um head coaches fired was mike shanahan ron shazinski who didn't even have a shot in cleveland they only gave him one year i mean cleveland didn't play that bad they was pretty much in every game but this is why the cleveland browns will always suck like, you give a coach one year you don't even let him you don't even give him a chance to get his type of players and people in this is why organizations like the Steelers, New England, things like that, they, they, you know, they figure it out because they stay with the coach. They let the coach, they give the coach time to build his type of team. Cleveland didn't even give Shazinski that type, that that time. Come on, man. Minnesota fired Les, Leslie Frazier. Um, Jim Schwartz got fired from um, the Lions. And um, Greg Schiano got fired from the Bucks. Now, Levy Smith agreed to uh, head coach the Bucks. Good. I think that's a good hire for uh, the Buccaneers to get Lovey Smith. And Lovey Smith hired Leslie Frazier, I think, as a defensive coordinator. So, we got to see how that pan out. The Bears signed Jay Cutler to a seven-year extension. Seven years for Jay Cutler? What have he done? Tell you the truth, the backup came in and played better than Cutler. I think if the backup was in the game, they would have beat the um, Packers. And I think they would have gotten the playoffs. That's my account I'm talking about. You see Case Bay come down. Rain make a boy. But yeah, K Spade definitely played ball this game and he brought us back. Um Chris Paul is out six weeks with I think a separated shoulder. Organ DeAnthony Thomas announced that he will enter the NFL draft. And the Minnesota Timberwolves assigned Shabazz Muhammad to the D League. What happened to Shabazz Muhammad, man? They was comparing this dude to James Harden. What happened to him? Like he is terrible. To the D League. Like he was a what was he a top ten pick? I wanna say he was a top 10 pick if not top 10 excuse me y'all I'm, I'm still going i'm still a little under the weather man but if not a top 10 pick i know he was like top 15 but damn yo the d league like is he that terrible come on yo 
Get your mind right, Shabazz Muhammad. Another thing, um, there's speculation that the uh, Lakers will trade Pau Gasol to the Cleveland Browns. I mean, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavaliers for Andrew Bynum. But the Lakers want a, either a first round pick along with it or either Deion Waiters. And the Cleveland said, hell no. So that thing is still, they still in talks about that. There was other speculations that Carmelo may be traded for Blake Griffin. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm your boy Authentic973, under the weather and all. I'm your boy Lapaz57. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. I definitely appreciate all you guys, man. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang!